on today's video we are back at the range with the Taurus TX22 competition to test out the ADE Zantedium Red Dot. Let's get started. All right, the first thing we got to do is get this Red Dot zeroed in. We're going to be using the CCI 40 grain blazers that we've been using on all the videos with this so far. If you haven't watched the unboxing video on the ADE Zantedium, that's when we went over all the specs, the MOA of the dot, how to adjust the locks in the back and all that. So if you want to know what all the specs are, we're not going to go over it in this video. Go back and watch the unboxing video. The two locking screws in the back, we do have those loose. As soon as I get it zeroed, I'll lock those back down. Alright, let's go down and check that target. Alright, that right there was actually our first shot. Way right. Had a heck of a time finding that. Luckily, they just put up new boards. That was the second shot. Third shot. The fourth. Then the fifth. I probably should have left it alone right there. I moved it here, and that was the sixth shot. So, I'm going to kick it back to the right just a little bit, and we'll have it. All right, we got 16 round CCI blazers loaded up. We're just gonna shoot a group with this. I do got the screws locked down now, so hopefully it'll hold zero and stay there. Here we go. All right, this is a first. The battery door has come off, so that was down pretty tight. As far as I remember, not off to a very good start with this. All right, I'm not going to blame the optic yet. I Maybe I put the battery cover door in wrong when I put it on. I don't know during the unboxing video. The O-ring's on there. It seemed this time it's seated down pretty good. I kind of made a mark on here to see if it's moving at all. I mean, being a 22, this gun has no recoil, and it's not like the dot's reciprocating on the slide. We'll see. Shouldn't be an issue. All right, let's try this group. Alright, so here's our first group. Kept them all inside that diamond except these three here. And this one here was a little outside. But it's not a bad group. They'll get better as the day goes on here. I just got to get warmed up. Alright, we're going to keep filming. But now it's starting to rain. So, that's Ohio for you. One thing we talked about in the unboxing video was the window on this thing. This window is huge. Now, as far as looking at these targets, it's great. Um, man, I mean, it's just like right here, I can see almost the whole target in the window. So the size of this window is awesome. That was my favorite part about this optic and that's why I wanted to get it. All right, we're gonna shoot another 16 shot group. Fed them all. All right, this is a lot better. This is the second group. Kept them all inside the diamond. Really happy with this. So it's holding zero good. All right, let's run another mag through it.
Let them all. I will say I'm running this dot a lot better than the Swamp Fox. Probably just due to the fact how much bigger the window is on this. I just wish this dot was a little bit brighter. I really do like the dot on this TX-22. Alright, shot another really good group. Other than that, I don't know what the hell happened there. That was definitely user error. Alright, let's do a rapid fire. Fire 16 rounds fast so we can fire them out of here. Then we'll go back, we'll shoot another group, see if it holds zero. Rain them all. Alright, we're going to shoot another group after that rapid fire. Make sure she held zero. Here we go. All right, this shot another really good group. Let's have this one outside there. Dot's doing wonderful. All right, I got a couple USPSA targets set up. We got one here and we got one over here. What I'm gonna do is fire two shots at each target, transition back and forth. We'll see how easy it is going from target to target. All right, here we go with the USPSA targets. This was our target on the right. They're all in the A zone, except for this one. Outside of that perf, just a little bit. This is our target on the left. They're all in the A zone, except for down here, got one in the C. So seven alphas, one Charlie. I can take that. All right, this time we're gonna go for all headshots. All right, here's our eight, share eight rounds in the head. Got two here, so we got them all here. All right, got four in the A zone of the head, and these four. All right, now I know what everyone's going to be saying if they've been watching this series of videos I've been doing with the TX-22. As I said when I put the Swamp Fox Justice Red Dot on it, that that was going to permanently stay with this gun. Well, I lied. Our buddy Gene over at Reloading from the Hot Pot did an unboxing video of this ADE Zantedium. And when I seen it, I was like, I gotta have that red dot. When I saw the size of the window and how big it was, I was like, that would be perfect for this gun. And obviously he thought the same thing too because he ended up putting an ADE Zantedium on his Taurus TX-22 competition. So this dot will stay on this gun. The only complaint I have about it is the brightness of that red dot. It's not bad. I've seen worse, I've seen a lot better. It's usable. It's, I mean, it's extremely usable. It's not a problem. I had no problem seeing it on the brown USPSA cardboard targets. Showed up great on the white targets. It's not an issue. It's just, I wish it was a little brighter. This dot will probably last a long, long time on this gun due to the fact it's 22. There's no recoil and it's not reciprocating on the slide. The other thing is with this dot, one of the big reasons I got it is I knew that this dot was only gonna fit this gun as far as my handguns go. So I couldn't be happier with this setup. Just wish it was a little brighter. So for $109, you cannot go wrong with this dot. I would definitely buy it again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.